50 years after World War II crash grounded a B-25 bomber. A group of aviation boxes bringing the past alive. We're back in two minutes. Preserving the past, a World War II bomber gets new life thanks to a volunteer team of aviation buffs. Now from Global Edmonton, the news hour with Gord Steinke and Linda Steele. Well, it sounds like an odd anniversary to remember. A retired pilot is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the time he crashed his bomber at the municipal airport. Terry Champion smashed up B-25 is being restored now at the Alberta Aviation Museum. And he bought the volunteer crew lunch recently just to say thanks. These hungry volunteers are getting special treatment at the Aviation Heritage Museum. They're being treated to a free lunch. And I wanted to commemorate it in some way, so I wanted to uh, recognize all the people who've made this uh, uh, Edmonton Aviation Heritage Society and the Alberta Aviation Museum a success. And this is what the volunteers are working on, a World War II era Mitchell B-25 bomber. On May 16, 1957, Terry Champion, a young pilot with the 418 squadron, lost his brakes and crashed into the side of the hangar. Threw my arms up in front of my face, and um, maybe that saved my uh, my face. And then we hit the wall. Uh, I didn't really think it was going to be that serious. Yeah, I think it'll work. The volunteer restoration team bring years of experience to this daunting task. Chuck's only been working on airplanes for about 80, 80 years or close to it, 70 some years, and Gary probably for 40 or 50 years. You know, I don't know. Yeah. And so they're getting pretty good at it. One of the experts is mechanic Chuck McLaren. He'll be 90 this July. The 418 squadron, as long as they can find money, we'll make an airplane out of it. And he says restoring the old plane found rusting in a field near Lamont will take years. It's not going to be repaired overnight, though. It's going to take several years to do this. The wings have got a lot of work on them. Preserving the past is important for these aviation buffs. The B-25 is an important part of Edmonton's aviation history and played a critical role in the Second World War. They were a bomber. They also used them for uh, uh, going after shipping and uh, destroyers. And yeah, it, they had a lot of uh, air, uh, gun power on these things, I'll tell you. This is a wing tip. Here, uh, we have two of them. The Over the years, Terry took a lot of good-natured kidding about his hangar crash. Yes, well, seeing as how I almost burned the hangar down in 1957. But today, the 73-year-old retired commercial airline pilot holds no grudges. I would send back the message Somebody that, that you know, I've taxied by this hangar hundreds and hundreds of times without hitting it. and um, But you hit it once, and that's that's all you hear about, you know. <laughs> And one guy who's not going to rub it in is Chuck. Like Terry's not the only one that bent one. I remember one time one landed on the grass with the wheels up. He went right across the airport, right to the fence, and stopped about 10 feet from the fence. Seven people in it, not a scratch on any of them. <laughs> so with the boys hard at work, it's a thrill for Terry to see his old wings being given a new chance. A lot of nostalgia because I was in the squadron here in the 50s flying B-25s from this hangar, and I grew up less than a mile away from here, so it has a very special place in my heart. Well, you can get your first look at the Mitchell B-25 bomber and the work that's been done on it so far at the Alberta Aviation's Air Fest that's coming up on June the 24th. Fast.